Hello everybody. Now, today in statistics, we're going to look at how we can find the interquartile range of a grouped set of data. All right. Remember, quartiles divide our data into four equal parts. All right. So that's what we're going to be looking at. So the first thing that we're going to need, we're going to need our cumulative frequency, all right? Because our cumulative frequency will be able to tell us where our upper quartile is located and where our lower quartile is relocated. So the first thing you do, okay, always calculate the cumulative frequency because just like us for the median, all right, the cumulative frequency will help you position know where the, the class which classes these quartiles are located in all right so let's let's start with say start with eight here all right eight plus four that is 12 12 plus 12 that is 24 four plus nine that is 33 33 plus seven that is 14 so that's our cumulative frequency all right total frequency remember when total everything up we also get 40 all right wonderful now since we have got our cumulative frequency here we can now start locating our quartiles we'll start with the upper quartile all right so the upper quartile all right the first thing to do is we locate the position all right so to locate the position of the upper quartile class it's going to be 3 times n divided by 4, All right? So in this case, our n is 40. Remember, n is the total frequency. So n is 40. n is 40. So here we're going to say 3 times 40 divided by 4. All right, so 3 times 40, that is 120. 120 divided by 4, that gives us 30. All right, so we go to our cumulative frequency table. Where can, where can this 30 be accommodated, all right? So it can be accommodated in this class, all right? This class over here, right? Because 30 is lower than 33, all right? It's lower than 33, so... The, our, our, the position we're looking for is in, in this class. Our upper quarter is located in this class. Okay? This is where it's located. All right? The next thing is what find the lower boundary of our quartile class, right? If you remember in the previous examples for um, the, mean, the mean and the mod and everything, we saw that our um to get our lower class boundary all right we're going to just say 31 this 31 here plus this 30 here all right we get the average of the lower limits okay so we're going to say 31 plus 30 div divided by 2 And yeah, that's 61. 61 divided by 2, that's 30.5. That's our lower boundary, right? Our upper boundary, all right, we're going to say 40, all right? So here, when we locate our class width, let's just get our upper boundary. So upper boundary, Right, we're going to say 41 plus 40 divided by 2. 41 plus 40, that's 81. 81 divided by 2, that is 40.5. Get our class width. It's the low upper limit minus the lower limit, 40 minus 30.5, which will get 10. All right, that's our class width. All right.
All right, so FQ1 is the cumulative frequency of the preceding quartile class, all right? So this is going to be 24. Line our values in order. So that's 24. The frequency of our quartile class is 9. Okay, so I believe we have everything. All the data we need, we can just put it in our formula. All right. So the, we say Q3 equals the lower limit of our class is 30.5, right? 30.5 plus, right? We just insert fraction here. All right, so our class width is 10, open brackets, all right. So we already did 3n divided by 4, which is here in our formula, all right. 3n divided by 4, we found 30, so we just put it in our formula here, 30, minus, all right, the cumulative frequency of the preceding class, which is 24, right, divided by the frequency of our upper quartile class, which is nine, all right? So this 30.5 is this LQ here. This 10 is this CQ here. This 30 is this 3N divided by four, if we calculate it here. FQ minus one is 24 and FQ is nine, all right? So we can now solve. All right, so let's see, we're going to say equals 30.5 plus, all right? So 30 minus 24, that is 6. 6 times 10, that is 60. All right, 60 divided by 9. All right, that's 6.66, so we'll just round up to 6.7. All right, so 6.7 plus 30.5, that's 37.2. And that's our upper quartile, 37.2. Okay, now we'll go to our lower quartile. All right, go to the lower quartile. So I'll need this table again. All right, so the lower quartile. All right, so same principle as the first quartile. To locate the lower quartile class, you say n divided by four, all right? So I'm going to say, Remember, n is the total frequency, so say 40 divided by 4, that gives us 10, right? So that, so where is our quartile class located, right? 10 is greater than 8, but it's lower than 12, so it's located here, all right? Let me just remove this one here. All right, so this is our lower quartile class, all right? All 
All right, so we find the boundary of our lower quartile class. All right. The boundary, we just know 11 plus 10, that's 21. 21 divided by 2, that's 10.5. That's 10.5. So okay, 10.5. Right, the class width we already know it is 10. The cumulative frequency of the pre uh, preceding the lower quartile class is 8. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so the cumulative frequency is 8. All right, and then the frequency of the lower quartile class is 4. All right, so now we can just put this information in our formula. All right, to get our lower quartile. All right, so we're going to say the lower boundary of the quartile class is 10.5 plus all right plus our class width is 10 open brackets our n divided by 4 is 10 also, right? That's how we've been located our quarter class. The frequency preceding our lower quarter class is 8, all right? Divided by the frequency of our quarter class, which is 4, all right? So let's do, let's say 10.5. Plus ten minus eight is two. Two times ten that's twenty. Twenty divided by four that is five. Right. So our lower quartile is going to be fifteen point five. Okay. So our interquartile range, right, is going to be Q3 minus Q1, right? Q3, which was our upper quartile, we found it was, what was it? It was 37.2, so say 37.2 minus 15.5. So when it's seven point two minus fifteen point five, we get twenty one point seven. Okay, then in the question, all right, we found our quartile ranges. In the question, all right, I remember we've been told to find the 80th percentile, all right, which is P80, the 80th percentile. We have to locate it and calculate it, all right. So to get the percentile, all right, let me just borrow this table over here because we'll still need the cumulative frequencies. So let's see. So you can see the cumulative frequency is used to help us determine where our classes are for the mean, the, in, uh, the upper quartiles, even for the percentiles as we're going to see, all right? Oops. All right, so 
Again, our percentiles, all right, this is the formula. We've been told find P80, all right, P80. So let's, the first thing that we're going to do is we have to locate our percentile, all right, to locate our percentile, we use this formula, K times N divided by 100, all right. So since we've been told to find the 80th percentile, Percentile. Then K. Okay. Then K equals eighty. All right. So here we're going to say eighty times n, which is the total frequency, which is forty. N rate is plus forty. All right. Divided by hundred. So eight times forty that is three thousand two hundred. Three thousand two hundred divided by hundred we get thirty two. So we are going to look. All right, go to our cumulative frequency column. We're going to look thirty two. Where we, can we find thirty two? Here in this class. All right. So our eightieth percentile is going to be located in this class. All right. Then we have to find our class width, all right, our class width, all right. So from this class, we can see the lower limit is uh, 30.5 and the upper limit here is 40.5. So the class width still stays the same, which is 10. Okay, it will never change. Right then with the lower limit for our class, all right, the lower limit for this class is going to be so it's going to be 30.5 lower limit right and then we need also the cumulative frequency of the preceding class right the class which comes before all right which is so we say that's going to be 24 all right that's going to be 24 and finally the frequency of The, in the class of the presenter, which we denote as FP. All right, the frequency FP. Okay, frequency. Oops. Frequency of the class. The frequency of the class is nine. All right, so now we can put, we've got all our values, we can put them in the table, in the formula, all right? So we're going to say, we're going to be equal to, the lower limit of this class is uh, 30.5, right, plus, okay, let me insert a fraction here. All right, so we've got our class width 10, open brackets, All right. KN divided by 100, we already calculated this, we found 32, 32 minus the frequency of our preceding class, All right, is 24, All right, divided by the frequency of our percentile class, the 80th percentile class, which is nine. All right. Now that we've done that, let's calculate. So we're going to say P80, all right, which is our 80th percentile. All right, which is our 80th percentile. And right, so we're going to say 32 minus 24. Okay, let's say 32 minus 24, we get 8, 8 times 80, 8 times 10, we get 80, 80 divided by 9, we get 8.88, so it's a 30.5, 30.5, all 
plus eight point nine. Right. 8.9 plus 30.5 get 39.4 right so p18 which is our 80 percentile p8 80 equals P8 equals 39. Point. Right, so that is our answer. All right, now we have our coefficient of variation, which is just a ratio. Oh, this is the ratio of the standard deviation and the mean. Okay, let's show any relationship between the standard deviation and the mean. All right, so what was our standard deviation? Let's go back. Standard deviation, 13.66. What was our mean? Our mean was 26.25. So 36.66 divided by 26.25. Okay, which will say equal to... 36.66 by 26.2. Just confirm our mean is 26.25 and 13.66. Okay, so it's 13.66. And multiplied by 100, okay, because this is usually expressed as a percentage, all right. So we're going to say 13.66, 13.66 divided by 26.25, get 0 0.52 times 100, get 52%. All right, so that is, we are done with the questions. We'll see you in the next lesson.